bad farm techniques where agricultural lands are left being without use for growing crops as a result of massive downpour there are chances that the surface fertile soil is carried away by the rain water making the land further not suitable for agriculture uneven topography in india like mountain slopes are very steep surface runoff can cause deep gullies making the land not suitable for terrace farming and as far as the plains are concerned which are drained by rivers example river ganga indo gangetic plain has become prone to sheet erosion where every year the lands flood making it unsuitable for agriculture and many a times standing crops are also affected region in india where soil erosion is taking place chambal is known for gully erosion river yamuna and the western himalayas of course known for sheet erosion yamuna river valley is known for sheet erosion western himalayas as the uh, height is massive and the slopes are very steep gully erosion is common chota nagpur plateau being a table land with steep slope uh, gully erosion is common sabarmati valley also is prone to gully and sheet erosion western rajasthan being arid and dry is prone to wind erosion making the land not suitable for agriculture so keeping in mind the agricultural needs it has become very very essential that the soil need to be taken care so taking care of soil is known as conservation so soil conservation means protection of top soil from erosion over usage and acidification etc there are different methods used for conservation of soil for example terrace farming where the slope is cut in the form of terrace to prevent surface runoff or to reduce the velocity of the water and in board examination please keep in mind students they ask you the advantages of terrace farming you can write that it can prevent surface runoff and helps in controlling soil erosion there are also other methods like you have strip cropping construction of dams you know construction of dams has a multiple utility that can hold water and at the same time helps in conservation of soil generation of hydroelectricity and so on there are other benefits of construction of dam across the river and shelter belts where trees are planted along with the crops this is known as or this is an example of agroforestry these are all the uh, methods that can be adopted for conservation of soil plugging of gullies also can be very very effective method of conservation of soil so in random you should know the methods of soil conservation this is important board examination point of view plugging gullies construction of dams strip cropping and agroforestry that is growing of trees along with the crops can be effective method to conserve soil now passing on to the next topic need for soil conservation why is soil conservation essential in india to maintain soil fertility to ensure continuous agricultural production as you all know that india is agricultural country where there is a great pressure on land for the food crops hence soil fertility need to be taken care to maintain moisture level in the soil so moisture in the soil is very very essential as you all know for the growing of trees crops and maybe other plants this is a general requirement to maintain water table of course if the soil is porous and at the same time capable of retaining water can help recharge underground water which is known as water table and to increase vegetation and nowadays it is becoming a, a challenge that the forest need to be taken care to maintain ecological balance so hence a good soil can retain good natural vegetation to control natural calamities of course to control flood forest is required 
and to control soil erosion forest is required to maintain ecological balance forest is required so hence soil need to be conserved for all these various reasons so please keep in mind students this is a very very important content and uh, the part of the chapter in the board examination they will ask you a question like why should we conserve soil and please bear all these points in mind there are also various programs and schemes for conservation of soil you need to keep in mind there can be a two mark questions for this integrated watershed management is very very important and they ask you what is the aim of integrated watershed management this is to enhance the ability of catchment area to collect more rainwater so the basic motive or aim of integrated watershed management is to collect rainwater and rechannelize it to be used for agriculture reduce soil erosion and silting of rivers to control floods second important motto is to reduce soil erosion and to control floods and floods can be controlled if the rivers are not allowed to silt then reclamation and development of ravine area ravine areas are those places or areas which are subjected to gully erosion basically chambal valley madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and rajasthan are prone to gully erosion so reclamation and development of ravine area is to control gully erosion by plugging gullies afforestation and practice terrace farming so that gully erosion is controlled national project on development so the aims of national project on development is use of bio fertilizers this is again very very important they ask you a question in board examination that why is use of organic fertilizers better than chemical fertilizers as you all know that chemical fertilizer can deplete the soil whereas organic fertilizer can enhance the fertility in the soil so hence the national project on development aims at using bio fertilizers integrated use of chemical fertilizer for balanced agriculture to boost agricultural production to use the soil consistently for agriculture chemical fertilizer has to be used initializing rain water harvesting and recharge underground water see as every agricultural land cannot have the supply of water so it is better to opt rain water harvesting where rain water can be stored and can be used at the time of scarcity so this can ensure supply of water at the time of scarcity so uh, giving more importance to rain water harvesting is also one of the important step that can be taken to conserve soil so hereby we come to the conclusion of this chapter the question and answer will be discussed in the next session